Hey, howdy, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Oak Tree. Today, I just wanted to talk and ramble about a few things, but before I get into all that, I just wanted to say that if you guys have any questions for me or any kind of Q&A sorts of questions you want to throw my way, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below because while I know I probably won't get too many questions, uh, I'm still thinking it'd be kind of fun to at least answer maybe a couple or however many I get, so feel free to leave them down below, and maybe in the next episode, probably in the next episode, I will go ahead and answer some of them. So yeah, feel free to leave them down below. And now moving on to what I really wanted to talk about today. I've talked previously about missing the like good old days of YouTube, but the more and more I keep watching those old videos, the more I've really am starting to miss those old days and what YouTube used to look like back then. Uh, I've been going back to watch old CNanners commentaries and it's been so funny and wild to me how much the gameplay played a factor in the video because nowadays it seems like the content is primarily on what is being said and not what is being played on in the background but no a lot of it was like oh yeah this is my 36 and 1 gameplay on Dome. Hopefully you all enjoy. I'm free for all. Hopefully you all enjoy. <laughs> this is my MOB gameplay. Like, it's just like a big focus of the video, but nowadays it's just like, yeah, here's some random footage I got the other day. Here, have fun. You're not really paying attention to it as much as the words being said. And that probably might have been the case throughout the whole length of the videos back then, but maybe they didn't think so. I don't know. It's weird thinking about the mindsets back then, but... Anyway, uh, I watched old videos of CNanners, Hutch, and Sark in the Machinima offices playing Call of Duty and recording content. And that stuff is so cool to me. I think it's so cool to see them have, like, they had their own little office cubes where they worked on content, like, recorded footage and edited videos, I assume. I always thought it was so cool to have, like, your own dedicated space for things. And I kind of have that going on for me right now, but it's... It's not quite where I would like it to be, uh, maybe in the future though. Later on, he got one of those, like, CNators got one of those sound isolation booth things to record videos in, which I thought was really cool. I always thought those were really neat because I get kind of anxious about recording these videos sometimes. Just kind of like having other people hear me. I don't know why, it just seems a little bit nerve-wracking to have someone hear a side of me that, while it's public to the public, it's private in the sense that I'm not normally like this, if that makes sense. Uh, so I get anxious about having people hear me when I record videos, so having a booth like that I always thought was super neat and actually really useful. Uh, it makes me really wish I could have like my own little sort of dedicated setup away from prying eyes, similar to like Game Grumps Grumps Room, where they have like a nice couch set up and they got mics set up and everything and it's all very technical and all rigged out. I always thought that would be really cool to have. I, I kind of got something like that going for me with my couch set up at the moment, but it does make my room fairly cramped. Uh, I have ideas for the future, like the couch itself is not very comfortable, it's a really cheap futon. And while it gets the job done, I have noticed that it's been starting to make my back hurt already. And that's not good. So hopefully, maybe for like my birthday or see where things go, I can get like a futon. Or not a futon. I have a futon. Uh, a recliner of sorts. Because I've, I've been seeing these ones uh, that my brother has for a while. And they're fairly inexpensive and very comfortable. So I was considering getting something like that going for me. And then I could have it set up like next to me by my desk set up and it would all kind of flow a lot better. It would give me more space in my room, which would be nice. So, that would be good. Uh, but the couch setup does work and I've been playing through Final Fantasy 16 some more, getting along in that game, but it is a long game. I'm nervous that I won't get through it before Starfield comes out, which is a really big concern because Starfield will be a huge playthrough for me. I'm very excited to get my hands on a new Bethesda game and kind of check that out. Hopefully I can record and run it at the same time. That's a bit of a concern with just how demanding the game's going to be. And I I had a thought where they have this thing where if you buy the game one way, you can play it any other way. And what they mean by that is like if you buy it on the Xbox PC version, you can play it on the Xbox Series X at the same time. You don't have to buy it twice. 
but if I buy the Steam version, I don't think that rule applies, and I won't be able to play it on Xbox if I need to record it on Xbox, if that makes sense. Uh, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to run it on PC very well and record it at the same time. That's a bit of a concern, but you guys don't really care about that. That's very much tactical mumbo-jumbo crap. But hopefully you guys are enjoying that I'm working on other things besides Call of Duty commentary content and stuff like that. And I got a nice little dedicated spot for that on that separate channel, Oak Tree Plays. But yeah, I'm hoping to get some more content out there soon. Uh, I've really just been focusing on the Final Fantasy 16 playthrough, which, like I said, I don't really want to upload any of it until I get it all close to done, because I don't want to start it and then stop it randomly and then have you guys be upset that I stopped it randomly. So I just want to make sure I can commit to actually getting through it before actually uploading it. And yeah, hopefully that would be pretty neat for you guys to enjoy. And that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about today, was just kind of sharing some little ideas and thoughts and letting you guys have the opportunity to post questions for a Q&A, because I always thought that would be pretty neat to do. I don't really imagine a lot of you have a lot of questions and stuff like that, but I did get some new subscribers, so maybe some of you want to ask me some things. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you all are doing well. Uh, the weekend's coming up. Hopefully you guys have some fun plans for the weekend, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.